All right, if you're new, welcome. If you've been here before, you guys know it's me, Old Remy, and we are back into the thing, back in, into the thick of it, I guess you want to call it. Um, playing against towers. Uh, this punk engine, it's not really that good in my opinion, um, but they got a, they got a nice card right now that they kind of just been exploiting with, hoping you just surrender. That's kind of literally what Master Duel has become over each season. It's just a matter of let me go on the internet, see what deck has some kind of cheese and just play that cheese and i'll win and i'll climb but again you have to adapt for those of us who are, who are interested in a little bit more competition so um yeah here's the tower you know they go once they go once they go um chaos ruler and they get the rank three you already know what they're doing they, they don't even like try to do anything else it's like okay i'm gonna go this i'm gonna end my turn okay ways around this um make borrow load and just punch it and then toss it on their turn or your turn once your life points are lower um but yeah that's that's one way to out it um another way is this right here as you're seeing um standard combo i just saw the guy pulled nibiru so the goal right now for the first half of the combo is basically save anything i can um and i since i have chaos space i'm gonna go ahead and try to opt to get um what's his name uh, Levineer. God, I can't wait till we get the pistol stuff. But yeah, you want to get Levineer and go ahead. Yep. Try to bait out the Nibiru. That's what I was trying to do. Bait the Nibiru. I was. He wasn't. He wasn't going for him. Like, okay, I need more. I need more darks in the graveyard. So that's why I played the last card. You see, I got enough darks. So then I'm like, okay, you gonna do anything? He paused here for whatever, for whatever reason, thinking he was going to negate or whatever. He probably thought I was going for this. I. I don't know. Um. I might have grabbed Nibiru because he kind of just stopped the pressure, stopped after that. But yeah, I bring the homie back. We go into Boral Sword. Yeah, I'm playing Boral Sword now. My extra deck looks insane right now. It's kind of like, it's like tech cards. It's kind of like either um, I'm going, it's not really like full combo like we've been playing the last couple of seasons. It's kind of like, scenarios okay i have access code for the you know access code for access code combos right unicorn access code that's still there we still got the borolo but then i added in another uh sword because i kind of just depending on what they're playing i'm just going for the win now it all that other stuff a lot of games i just go ip and um unicorn i'm sorry ip and seals and end my turn like um we don't have to go all crazy anymore in the in the current meta it's not really that much especially with the sprite stuff and all that even, and i'm even running dark ruler no more honestly because you play dark ruler more you make borrow savage or borrow borrow uh borrow in and just pop 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 and you know that there i mean you you got a way to turn but you have enough negates on the field to kind of kind of go for the dub but um yeah you got to play it play play it per hand um but yeah you see and then he gets that little that little buff or whatever that I didn't know about the first time I went against. Because, again, I don't read cards. I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh player, right? And and his hand was still flickering. It's so like, okay, what are you going to do? Dude's got freaking Ghost Ogre. I mean, luckily, I drew the call by off of the Chaos Space. But come on now, really? Negate that. And then we go for the dub right here. Pop. Pop. And then that's game. It's 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 a different win, but um, I'm thinking Sword's gonna hang around at least till the punk stuff goes away. Cause if they're if they're playing towers, I'm just gonna have to play tower against them. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much what I'm doing. I got another clip uh, Despia stuff, so I'll, I'll figure out I'll throw that one in here as well. So hang tight. Anyone who's been in the Discord will know that I've been complaining about getting bricks. Well, this is literally the brick hand I'm talking about. Um, one of them. I get it in Dragon League. I get it in uh, Despia. It don't matter. It's like, come on now. What RNG is giving me all three of these in one hand? You know what I mean? And and then, but wait, it gets better. Okay, so I I opt for the, uh, the Maxi. I don't think he has a negate, right? Drew another Dark Ruler No More. Like, what? So then, okay, whatever. He summoned something else. Okay, no big deal. Tell me why I drew another Dark Ruler No More. Like, what, what's up with the RNG? Like, who shuffled this deck? It wasn't me. 
Like, that's never happened. But, anywho, let's let's play. I got I got a bunch of discards that are complete trash. And I'm ending my turn. Uh, how do you, have you ever seen someone max see you and then not have anything? That, that's, that's this guy right here. All my bricks are, yeah, so I, I, again, the second one. He negates that one. But then I go for that. He doesn't have anything either. So he he's semi-bricking too. But again, okay, then I drew another brick. Come on now. Like, Max C would do nothing for this hand. So he finally just doesn't have anything. I guess I just went through his entire combo. He doesn't know any more combo lines. So he's just kind of just playing now. And I drew, finally I got a monster. Yep, and then play him. And I just like, I'm just gonna stop you from, cause it's a tuner. I'm like, I'm just gonna stop you from, from being play from, from playing, whatever, right? I still got a maxi. And two, like, oh my God, this hand's so horrible. I got a bunch of games like this though. Literally where I'm drawing like the same card three times. I figure I'd just show you this one because it's Despia, but you know, spread the wealth a little bit. But yeah, I, I use, I literally use uh, Brandon in red uh, to, to, to start my combo. And of course he's got two face downs, so you know one of them's in perm, right? I don't get why this didn't trigger for whatever reason. I, I don't know, that should have triggered in my opinion, where that, where, cause I'm summoning, I'm a special, I mean, I'm fusing, I'm fusing. But anywho, so okay, he goes for this. And again, I'm just waiting for him to play a special summon monster. Here's a special summon right here. So I, I again, my third maxi. Finally get Brandon in red. Or, 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 Brandon, or Brandon Fusion. And then I drew a second Brandon Fusion. It's like, bro, what's who shuffled this deck? And then I get uh, Ad Libitum. Okay, solid, right? Finally. So now I got somewhat of a decent hit. So now I'm debating if I want to use... Uh, dark ruler no more or just kind of play luckily i got this one okay you know we're just gonna fuse we're just gonna go for it go for this because i already have that finally get to draw the card that i sure drew a turn ago banish these go for mirror jade immediately mirror jade's effect send it poly off of that bam and after 10 turns of not having anything, the guy finally surrenders. Like, come on now. Like, this, this drives me nuts. But anywho, I will catch you guys on the next one. Salut. Peace.